How did the opportunity to even be on Big Brother come about? It's interesting. It just came about about a week, exactly a week ago. I got an email from uh, from a friend of mine, and she said I got re I was reached out to by a producer at CBS, and they want to know if you're interested in, in doing Celebrity Big Brother. And you were like, yes, or you're like, hell no. Well, I'm the kind of person, I, I stay pretty busy, and yeah. so if something comes up like this and it fits into my calendar, I usually say yes. Oh, okay. Are you nervous about being confined in this house with all these other wackadoodle celebrities? Yeah, as a football player, we had training camp and, you know, 52 true wackos, and yeah. I, I managed to do that for 11 years. So, so you're good. I, yeah, I'm good. Because when I was reading up on you, I read that when you were younger, you had some social anxiety, and so does that come to play at all in Big Brother? I don't think so. I think social anxiety was more outside of the house. We'll be inside the house, so I think I'm fine. <laughs> uh, what is your biggest fear? Is it giving up your cell phone? Is it giving up your life? You can't binge watch your favorite TV series? Mm, I, I think as a football player, you learn to try to be fearless, and you learn to enter a situation with an open mind and, and ready to, take, to deal with whatever comes. How competitive are you? I don't think I'm competitive in the conventional way I'm more competitive against myself and against circumstances and always willing to adapt and adjust whatever's whatever's necessary to, to be successful a lot of times on these shows people who commit to series like this um, when they come out of the house or they come out of the competition they realize that oh my gosh all of America's fallen in love with me and now all these opportunities come are, is there any hopes for you? Is there something you want to do next in your career in the entertainment world? Well, the, the point, this is really the point, the, the biggest, I think, potential in doing Celebrity Big Brother is that when I come out of the house, people will know who I am, not just as a football player, right. but, but who I am. And I'm an astrologer and I'm a healer. And part of what I'm going through in my life is a rebrand because the things I'm into now are so different from, from football. I love that. So will you be doing readings for everyone in the house? I hope so. I mean, it gives me a, a, a huge advantage. I think so, too. Typically, celebrities like to talk about themselves and to hear people talk about them. Yeah. So I get their, their sun sign, and I can talk to them for at least a couple of hours about themselves. No. Yeah. You have it all memorized? I do. I, I mean, I've been studying it for 15 years, and it's a big part of my life. Wow, that's cool. Um, some stars last year found it even too difficult to stay um, on Big Brother, and they cut themselves from the show is there are, do you have you ever given up on anything in your life is there any chance you're going to call it one time one time when I was in uh, ninth grade I was playing JV baseball and I wasn't playing and so I, I quit so I could go play little league um but I, it hurt and, it, and I promised myself I would never I would never give up again okay I love that um have you reached out to anyone from past seasons or season one of Celebrity Big Brother for advice or how to play or well, like I said, I've only had a week to prepare, yeah, really. you didn't have time. So I had to tie up a lot of loose ends in this past week, so I didn't really have time. The food situation can be interesting inside the house. Are you a cook? Are you a cleaner? Are you a helper? Will you eat the slop? I'm a, I'm a helper, and I, I like to fast, and so um, chances are I probably won't eat very much. Really? Why? So you're going to be fasting and trying to play a Jedi mind game on people? This seems like a lot going on at one time. That's what I do. That's what I do. Okay. Get cleaned out and... Well, to me, the, the whole month, I mean, in the big picture, the whole month is a great opportunity to, to, to change, yeah. you know? It, it's, I have an opportunity to, to meditate every day, do yoga every day. It's, I like the confinement. It allows me to a bit of a retreat. It's going to be difficult to meditate when there are 11 other people and that siren and the bot and, you know what I mean? Those are the best times to meditate. My, my teacher would say, if you can meditate when there's all this craziness going yeah. on, then you're good. Okay. Um, what is your strategy for winning, Big Brother? Uh, you know, I've, I've been asked that question a bunch, and I, I'm sure it's an answer that you guys get a lot, but to be myself. And I think that I'm, I'm an interesting person, and I'm a kind person, and I have this calming influence. So I think if I can manage to be myself when all this chaos is going on, I think yeah. I'll be all right. But you're also kind of a fierce competitor and an athlete, a professional athlete, so you're going to win some physical. You know, I think people are going to look at you when you walk in and be like, ooh, I don't want it to be me and him at the end because he'll beat me in the physical. That's what they think, but they'll see. They'll see. I that you're picked, clumsy? I'm, I'm a bit clumsy. I haven't picked up a football in six years. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do with all that money? Oh, good question. So um, I'm launching a, a dating app. 
that I built on around astrology, helping people understand themselves better and find a mate. And, and so if, if I win, I can I can use this money to start development on my app. Now, are you single? I'm married. You're married. Okay. So you're going to help all the single people. Help Bas- all, also help people that are married. I think, you know, what happens to a lot of people, they get into a relationship and they're like, now what? Yeah. And astrology is great for helping people manage manage a relationship. Okay. Well, since you're into this, tell me something about an Aquarius. Oh, Aquarius is easy. Aquarius is the is the archetype of the genius. Duh. The, the genius. I mean, tell me right? more. The rebel. Rebel. Yeah. Aquarius is about learning to think for yourself. And there's a need for Aquarius, especially early in life, to not become too dependent on other people. Because if you have to think for yourself and your heart is telling you to go one direction, but the people you care about don't understand and don't get it, Aquarius has to listen to their heart and go that direction anyway. I feel like our CBS listening right now because we need a whole other side website that we can watch, which is just your astrology readings of everyone in the house. Yeah. Be, I love this. Yeah. It's good stuff. Well, we have to keep you around for a long time because I need to see all this content. Exactly. Prime. Awesome, man. Exactly. Good luck. Thank you. Knock them dead. Don't be too good at the physical stuff off I the bat. I, I learned that. I don't okay. want to target on my, on yeah, my chest. Yeah, don't get a target on your back. Yeah.